What's up guys, that really goes guy here. We are back and we're gonna jump in and start playing some uh, Black Desert Online. I've heard this is a pretty good game. I heard it's got a pretty good story. Um, kind of, kind of f popular right now, especially in the MMO kind of genre. So I wanna try it out, see what it's all about. So I just wanna preface that I have played just a little bit to kind of get used to the controls and all that stuff, but I am starting a new character just so you guys can get the uh, initial um, experience of the game. I'm not too sure which character I really want to end up carrying on the Let's Play with, so I'm curious uh, if you guys want to let me know um, if you are familiar with the game, which one do you want to see? I know there's like a samurai, there's ninja, there's um, like this big hulking dude, there's a, um, an archer, there's a sword and shield user, there's uh, mages, and there's a dark knight. There's a lot of stuff, but I'm curious what you guys uh, would like to see, and uh, I'm just going to start off right now playing as a mystic, which is, I believe, the most recent character they implemented into the game, but she is like a, uh, a brawler type character. I thought it would be kind of cool. Um, this game also has a really great custom uh, character creator and all that stuff. Um, I've gone and changed the hair and stuff up on her. Um, it was blonde. I darkened it up a little bit. I added a new hairstyle, uh, and then I kind of changed up the length and all that stuff, but, um, I don't know. It looks good. Looks good. I think so. Uh, and she's gonna be Tori, Tori the Fierce, uh, because the game doesn't allow you to name the same name as other people's names, you know what I mean? So I had to add something, so I've made all my characters, like, James the Brawler, or like, blah 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 the Tiger, or whatever. Anyways, but... Or they, they have some sort of, you know, characteristic to their name. So, Tori the Fierce. I don't know. We'll run with it. Let's go uh, creation complete. So, there's going to be cinematic type stuff to start out with. So, I just want to preface that. So, I won't talk over that so you guys can hear it. Um, so, yeah. Um, I have a few. I have a few. Um, I ranked up real, real quick because um, you can see the different characters. Just let me know which ones you think would be the most interesting. This is a sword and shield male type character. Here's uh, Christy the Kind. She is a bow and knife wielder kind of thing. Um, Zaz the Fearless. He's the samurai. We have Brutal the Bear, which I haven't started to, to fool around with yet, but he's a, like a, a big brawler type character. There's Mira the Bright, and she is a sword and shield chick. Uh, Valkyrie, I believe is what she is. Laura the Jaded, she is uh, you know, Dark Knight, and then Tori the Fierce. So some of them, like Arthur and Christy, Zaz and Laura, ranked up really quickly because I got like the first seven days of the game was an experience booster or something like that. So, uh, But we're going to get in with Tori. This music, too loud. Too loud. But yeah, let me know. Let me know which character you think we could enjoy uh, doing the the playthrough with. I'm gonna run through the beginning stages of the tutorial up until I get to basically where I am with my other character, and then we can talk about it. Um, I'm basically in a city. I think it's Olvia. I'm in a city that has uh, a lot of like houses you can buy and stuff like that. I don't know, but. It's interesting. Roma Naru is the central city of trading. Back when ships from Valencia would anchor in Nauru, children would greet the merchants and fireworks would light the skies. Nauru was a thriving city of sailors and merchants, and crowded areas were guarded by mercenaries. Little did they know what had arrived. Could any of these people know of the Elysian Stone? It is the mythical stone of the ancient civilization, but the dark 
power it possesses has been hidden by that very civilization. At last, the illusion was uncovered. A mysterious black smoke rose up over the ridge. It seemed to know exactly where it was headed. To Gomanaru. The illusion stone reverberated. People started to disappear all across Gomanaru. In the end, there was no one left, and that day was soon forgotten. Anyways, this is the hardest part of being a YouTuber, is figuring out how to balance all your stuff out so it's your 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 editing process is not as friggin' terrible. Let's go ambient ambient can I don't know. Dialogue. Dialogue will probably be important, so let's kinda keep that around forty. Combat sounds, we don't want that to be crazy loud, so let's kick it way down. Striking sound. Um, 30. Other player volume? I guess? I don't know. Alright, so let's apply that. Am, does it save based on which character you're at? Because I could have sworn I already turned this down because it was loud. But anyways, those cinematics were loud, so um, I turned them down post-production, which is why I didn't talk over them. But here we go. So... We got this little dude, a little little floaty dude with these red eyes that, uh, we don't know what this he's all about. Uh, I don't think we're going to for a while, but I don't think he's good. I think he is the darkness or whatever that, that, uh, that they were talking about in the game. Um, oh yeah, that's right. I ended up having to use my keyboard, um, rather than my left-handed mouse. So, alright, so let's, uh, pop out of that and then... We gotta come up over here. So there are gonna be portions of the game that I do kind of skip through. A lot of the just fetch quest type stuff will kind of skip through and past. Um, that's just that's just not gonna be interesting for you guys. So I gotta run over here. Tutorial wise, this is probably not gonna be very interesting either, but I can probably burn through it as quickly as possible. The tutorial actually technically is, is really long, but these are the, the moving portions of the tutorial, which are the, the worst part. Alright, so open the eye inventory, then we click on that, and it's going to go to our one spot. I eventually move that to another another spot because I'm not too fond of potions being in my one one hotkey, but we'll, we'll check that later. Um, and then I can call the little dude, and then I can quest... And then he's going to give us a lot of quests for at least the very beginning portions. We're going to get some silver coins and an experience bonus? Or just experience? I don't know. Uh, and then we'll leave from there. Um, we can also hit the T key. Oh, wait. Was it the, is it the T key? T? Yeah. And it'll auto-walk, so I won't have to actually do that. Um, it's really nice when you have to, like, go poop. Uh, well, <laughs> when you have to AFK for any reason, it's pretty nice to, uh, to be able to do this and have you run to the destination. However, it does kind of break a little bit of immersion in the game if you're, like, I don't know, trying to get immersed in it. This is not something that you would really want to do. Um, at least that's, that's how I feel. If I was, if I was trying to get really immersed in the game, it wouldn't be something I would do. Look at this fragrant potion. Alright, so I also won't be going and voicing every character in the game. Um, a lot of the key characters, I believe, are voiced, um, so we don't have to worry about that. Okay, 
Yeah, that's gonna repeat, I think, if I don't. Alright, um, I don't know what this is. I know that this is, like, login days. I've been logging in and kind of just playing around the game for about an hour a day for the last, like, seven days, obviously. So, I've been doing that, just kind of getting used to the game, getting used to some stuff, trying to figure out how the how the towns work when it comes to the, uh, the marketplace and all that stuff. So, um, but yeah, so up until this point, um, in the game, I am in probably the first major town. So, uh, let's, uh, let's talk to this guy, continue our, our stuff. We can learn skills through him, which we'll, uh, we'll eventually get into as we level up. But that's going to be how we, you know, continue to do our combat. I'm pretty excited about the combat system in this game, to be completely honest with you, because uh, it's um, uh, I forgot I forgot the type of combat they call it. It's like active. I don't know. Anyways, uh, and then the soul bash skill. Well, that's kind of cool. It's like a kick, and then shift right mouse button. Pretty cool. So I'll do that again. Bam. Alright, don't get in my way, bruh. I'll punch you in the face! Alright, right mouse button and shift right mouse button. Boom. And boom. Pretty cool. So you can you can stack up your combos like crazy. Uh, oops. I'm supposed to go right and then shift right. There we go. Pretty awesome. Um, and then I can call the little dude. Get the uh, tutorial portion on its way. So he wants us to kill these noisy beetles. Of course, like in all MMOs, it's going to throw you into some really weak, terrible uh, first enemies that you're going to fight, and you're just going to destroy them. They really have no chance whatsoever against you, so we're going to beat up a whole bunch of these little beetles. Um, actually, I think we only needed to kill a few, actually, now that I think about it. So, like, three. Um, so, there we go. Now we can call a little dude again. We're going to try and burn through this, like I said. Um, if possible. And complete. Cool. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. And then he wants us to go after some weasels. Alright. Alright. Go, go, go. Cool. Bam. So now we're going to chase after some weasels. Once again, you can toggle the T key. Um, you have to be out of your combat stance or whatever. You can toggle the T key. And then you run on over. And then we're gonna, we would kill some weasels. Um, I don't know, uh, oh, okay, I thought I, what? That was confusing, okay, I guess, um, maybe those are, like, consecutive days? Oh, there's probably a consecutive one. I didn't log in consecutively, so, um, but yeah, we got some weasels here, which we can kill, um, let's, uh, go into warrior mode, there's a right click. If you hold down right click, it kind of just keeps on like spamming the similar attack. I believe at least uh, a couple of the characters, you can like, yeah, like go go left and right and do. So if you hold that way, you'll do like a sweeping attack. You hold the other way, do a sweeping attack the other way. And then there's like if you're if you're moving forwards, you can do like a like a thrust attack. Sometimes there's also like a back. Yeah, see that? That's cool. So if like. The weasel is about to hit me or something. I could like back and then thrust. Oh, it's, just, it's cool. Great combat system from what I've experienced so far. Um, I saw in chat while I've been playing these last couple days. Some people are saying there's a steep learning curve when you get to the later game. So you'll probably have to get very familiar with the way your combat is and your your combos and stuff like that in order to time things just appropriately. Um, probably depends on the character. There's probably some that are more tanky, some that are not, you know, such as mages and stuff like that, so... Um, I'm curious uh, to try out maybe, like, more mage-like characters. Um, I just recently tried out our bow user, our archer. She's really cool. A really cool type of combat, um, if you're into kind of the range thing. So, uh, yeah, let's get our, our little spirit dude chilling. Bam. All right, except... Alright, so now we have to kill... Oh, I think we have to fight and kill wolves. How terrible is that? We gotta kill wolves? Um, Alright, let's get up here. Oh, foxes! Yeah, foxes first! Ugh. So, the little little dark 
like uh, minion dude that's like telling us, giving us all these quests. He's like, oh look at look at those guys. Those guys look dangerous. They look crazy. Or 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 he started out like, oh let's kill something easy. Let's do whatever. And then he's like, oh look at those guys with the little beady eyes. Let's go kill those guys. And then he's like, oh the little foxes, mischievous little guys. And then he's like, oh let's try something stronger. Try something. Cra and then we end up fighting these uh, trolls or, or something. Whoa, what the heck is that? Oh, there's someone in their, um, in their wagon. You can get a horse with like a horse-drawn wagon. You guys will see that probably in the next episode. But then, oh yeah, we gotta beat up wolves, but that's after we do this. But I, this dude's, this, there's no way this dude is a good dude. We saw that whole beginning trailer. I'm assuming this dude is like this, the, the demon spawn or something. But anyways, um, we're killing all these things basically for his pleasure, I guess. I don't know. We'll find out. I'm sure at some point we'll find out. We already killed enough. Let's complete that quest. We're just going to keep on trucking. All right. And then... Da -da 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 -da. Already level 9. Already level 9. Um, I don't know if I still have... I think maybe servers or certain times there's like double experience or something like that maybe i still have an experience boost and i don't know it i don't know um but anyways let's uh let's go through here finish off these guys there are quest objectives so that's done and now i think we talk to him again all right do you see those imps throw rocks? Don't, yeah, by throwing rocks, those jerks teach them a lesson. And then we fight some imps that throw rocks. So, and then he ends up being like, oh, you see the, the, the chief, the chief imps or something like that. And he's like, oh, why don't you kill those guys? Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. All right, there we go. Take imp raider helmets. Two imp, okay, so we need one more. Raiders. Okay. There we go. I think we did it. And we leveled up again. It's a level 10. That was very, very quick. Um, probably because the game is old enough at this point where there's so much additional content that they're trying to level you up early enough to kind of be able to access some of that content sooner. I don't know. But it seems like they have throttled leveling up in this game to where most MMOs are just like... Like in Final Fantasy XIV, if you've seen it on the channel, um, the very beginning stages, it took me like probably a, an hour to get to 10, at least. And here we are, uh, 15 minutes into the video, um, probably only like 10 minutes of combat, and I'm already level 10. Crazy. But anyways, um, we've already grabbed all that. I was grabbing just a bunch of loot off the bodies, because I think they could potentially drop us some gear. Um, which isn't good. It's not great gear, but it's better gear. And then some silver, which is what we purchase stuff with. So, um, next up, we have to fight da -da -da, armored imps. So, it's probably a quest thingy. Okay. I didn't know if there were any armored imps in the area, but it's sending us up this way. So, um... Armored imps? Okay, some of these guys are armored imps. Okay. okay, then there's this giant rock thing that we can break, which I don't know what that does. Probably special loot you get out of it. Actually, yeah, there's probably, from what I've noticed, you can do some like blacksmithing and stuff like that. And there's like stones and uh, different materials in the game, so you can build, you know, new gear or, you know, better equipment. So I'm assuming there's different different spots where you can yeah see like that i was just trying to loot it and there's some kind of stone probably iron or steel or something like that anyways um i think we need to kill a couple more of those yes yeah, st steel imp warriors boom all right easy enough so we grabbed all that um oh there's more more objectives there we go take Steel Imp Warriors helmets. Let's grab everything that's chilling down here. Um, 
they have like pendants that I think I can sell off to merchants and stuff too, which will earn me a little bit of silver. It's not the most important thing in the world, but just in case you're gonna you're gonna you know play along with the game um, if you spend a little bit of time in this early area and you actually grab their loot, you can get a little bit of a uh, a little bit of money. But you see there we picked up a militia longsword. Let's see what we have. We have cracked fang. Yeah, these little ornaments you can sell off to vendors. Um, the shoes we can equip. The Militia Gauntlets we can equip. Uh, we had Rusty Gauntlets, but those are pretty much junk, so we'll just throw those away. And, yeah, we picked up a sword, but we're not a sword user, so that's all good. And, uh, yeah, so now we talk to the little spirit dude again. Grab him. Complete. Come on, complete. Quest. Uh, Steel Imp Defense Tower. We're going to do whatever the heck he wants us to do now. Oh, yeah, we're just gonna break these down. Bam. Alright. And then there's a couple more around here somewhere. Um, or do we just need the one? Maybe we just needed the one. Let's break this again for some materials. Materials. Another stone. We've got something off him. These guys don't seem to aggro. They're, like, in a lot of MMOs, the very beginning stages... All the enemies are like, you can't aggro them unless you unless you attack them. Um, but as you get further into MMOs like this, like everywhere you go, like everything wants to kill you. So you just got to be careful. But let's move over here a little bit closer to the road. Uh, oops, wrong button. And then let's hit up the black spirit. Ah, black spirit and complete. Cool quest. Western guard camp. Uh, dark green barracks there. You need any... Okay, let's go check that out. So, this is where we go to... Uh, it's... It's not really a town. It's like an encampment. Um, I'm a little bit past this point in my... In my playthrough so far. But, we'll run on over there. Um, it's basically all the way up where that glowing light is. Uh, just past that. But, pretty interesting. So far, I'm, I really like this game. I really love the combat system. Um, it seems like it, it's going going in the right direction. Um, it's it's one of the more enjoyable uh, first impressions I've gotten from a game where it doesn't feel too slow. Um, it feels actually a little quick because of the way the leveling is, but like I said, it's probably just because I have a booster or something on from when I bought the game. So that is what it is. Are you here to meet Captain Cliff? Maybe. I don't know, because I'm not reading the quest. Alright. So... The number of injured soldiers is steadily increasing. Well, that sucks. So, I'm not too familiar with the way the story is going at this point. I'm kind of just... clicking through. As far as I know, there's just... people at war, or something, and... whatever. Do you need some okay. The number of injured soldiers is increasing every day. That sucks. All I right. have a lot to do. Be careful out there, adventurer. They're probably at war with monsters, or like, you know, whatever. Um, so, I don't know what that's all about. So, you don't want to get paid, huh? Who's this? Hey. This place truly is the middle of nowhere. It really doesn't suit me. Uh. I just want to get this done and return Okay, lady, whatever. Is it No, it's maybe it's this time? Yeah, there we go. Can't be trusted. Cliff. I'm Captain Complete. Cliff. Commander of the Western Guard. Camp. See, he talks. Rand Chamberlain Jordine can't be trusted. Rand Chamberlain Jordine can't be trusted. Um, let's actually start. Let's actually start grabbing a little bit of mana potions, MP potions, Everyone's I guess. following this old captain. I will protect them with my life. Uh, he doesn't have a quest Rand option, so. Jordine can't be trusted. Humans always has to do some bothersome chores. Uh, Princess of Sardinia. Huh, did you hear that? I can feel a powerful energy from the south of the camp. Next. The stone chamber that I mentioned before should be right around here. I think it might be something very valuable, but it might be dangerous. Okay. I guess that's where we are headed. Alright. So. Uh, here. And here. Complete. Cave at the south of camp, huh? You're interested in that ancient chamber? Sure. Sir Jordine said he would come for me soon. He did. 
Okay. I done the explorer. I knew this would happen. So you don't want to get paid, huh? All right. So there we have it. Um, let's just uh, hit the T button. We'll kind of just stroll on over there. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. So we're going to like a, an ancient burial chamber of some sort. I don't know how long the run is, but probably long enough. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll cut this out for you guys. Alright guys, so here we are, about to uh, walk in this cave, and man, the dynamic weather system type Somehow. thing in here, it's pretty cool. You can hear the thunder and the rain falling, uh, seems pretty cool. I like it so far. Um, the other thing too, what I've noticed on my other character is there's a lot of things that pop up at the top of the screen, and yeah, see like stuff like that, but it'll just bam, 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 one after another, and I think it's what nearby characters are doing. And it gets pretty annoying. I don't know if there's a way to turn that off, um, but I'll probably I'll probably see if that's possible to turn that off. But ooh. okay, so let's just do a little bit of looking first before we go down there. Looks like these guys have been like petrified, turned to stone in this in this ancient chamber, ancient burial chamber. I don't know if it's a burial chamber, but and these guys are like dusting them off, inspecting them and stuff like that. Look at these things. So, it says statue, but were these things real at one point? Giant defense weapon of the ancients. Giant defensive weapon of the ancients. Its surface is very hard and its attack is destructive. Interesting. I don't know if there's any real reason to interact with these guys, but look at these things. These things are cool. I like it. I like it a lot. So here we are down here in this ancient chamber. Ancient chamber deal. There go. Must have Next. Here. Complete. Never stops good, good, good. Even in the What's darkness. up, little dude? Quest. Awakening. Traces of Udana. Uh, see the stone behind him? That stone is hiding something. It's not a pleasant aura, but it attracts me. Let's check out that stone. Sure. I don't like you, little dude. You're you're something. You're, you're something. Look at that. Is that... I think the... The, uh, that's a dark knight. The, uh, the chick next to me. Those dark knights look super dope. Alright, so we'll interact with the ancient artifact. Approach the ancient remains. Eden, look at this. Alright, cool. So that master volume turned down. Wrong with the artifact? Worked out pretty Could good for us. Somehow so. be your presence? You, though it's weak, you are possessed with dark energy. Oh boy. It still hasn't awakened. Hey, tell us anything at all you can remember about the black energy. You must rid yourself of all those hallucinations. Eden, stop. He seems unstable. Your life is at risk without me. What? Weird. Weird. He's changed. 
This power is now mine. It seems the black energy has destroyed your memory. We better report this to the shrine. Oh boy. How what? That's cool. That's cool. Alright. Um what do we talk to him now? Experience Wait. will gradually reveal the way. Cool. Experience of the ancients. The black spirit seems to have awakened the black illusion appearing in you. Uh, here's my advice. Do not feed the uh, illusion with your emotion. If you get too close to it, it will make the whole thing difficult. It's hard to explain right now. Ooh, that's cool. All right. All right. We'll just say uh, accept. Must have led the ruins supposed to seal it. I don't know. She for a long time. Blah, blah, blah. Ancient something, something, something. Cool. Never stop seeking light, even in the deepest darkness. All right. Quest. Yeah, see, he looks different. He's got, like, teeth now. He got large teeth. He got Anyways, I can't really do it. Um, anyways. Uh, continue on. Briar armor. If we complete this task. Um, boom, 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 boom. I don't know. Okay. Um, I don't know. Okay, so one of the tasks wants us to... Okay, maybe both of the tasks want us to leave. All right, so let's just toggle the T deal, run up that way, um, run through this down lower area. Wait, what does the little little spirit dude want with us? Hold on, let's uh, let's just pause real quick. Hit that. Did you like the gift? I just prepared it for you. Oh wait. Okay. I guess. Okay. Whatever. We'll just keep on going. Um. Whew. And I think we are heading in the direction of the town that I was talking about. I don't remember if there was anything between now and then. Um. But. There is a, uh. There is a town nearby with merchants and other stuff. And, uh. Yeah, let me let me auto run or run automatically. Oh, immature quest objective. This might okay. Okay, hold on. So we kill him. We need to kill five of these. Do we turn this into uh or turn this quest into our little dude? Maybe. I don't want to run all the way down there into the in the mines again. So okay. So young tree spirits and. They, the big tree spirits? Are those those are also guys? Okay. Yeah, mature tree spirits. One of two. Immature and young. Okay, so we need to kill a couple different types of these tree spirits. Ten little ones. Ten youngs. Um, five immatures and two matures, I think, was the deal. Um, okay, here's a little one. Was that the boar that just attacked me? I think the boar attacked me. Anyway, let's get rid of him. Um, oh no, it's this big dude. There we go. He's dead. Um, mature. There we go. Need to kill a mature one. And then I think a couple more young. Just grabbing their leaves and stuff. Yeah, young. Bam, bam. Kill him. All right, one more young. There we go. Some down here. Let's uh, bam, bam, fight a whole bunch of these guys at once. Die! So with our levels all the way up to 14 already. See, guys, these we level up so crazy quick for some reason. Um, there goes everybody. We uh, can turn in the quest now. I don't know why I'm still attacking people. I've just gotten the habit. Finish this off, bam, and bam. Quest, you know, and the great imp. So some imps, imps to kill. What? But I'm done. I'm done. All right. Let's sprint on over here somewhere. Looks like that's where we need to go. Um. Okay. Uh, there's. Run, please. Run. Yeah. Okay. Um. 
we're heading to our next area. Hopefully it is the town. I'm not too sure where we're going, but it's back to the barracks. Maybe. Because I wanted to end the episode when we reach the new... Yeah, we're back at the barracks. I wanted to end the episode when we reach the new city. Um, or town. Maybe it is way up there. Okay. Um, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll get back with you guys. I'll, I'll uh, save, you, save you the trip. Uh, and skip that. All right, guys, so we are arriving where Uno is. We're not quite in the city just yet, but uh, I think it's right over there where those houses are. So um, we'll check that out in just a moment. And there we go. Cool. Oh. Hey, check out these teeth. Um, boss, Black Spirit and Giant Imp. Okay, okay, okay. Accept. Good. All right, and Imp Captain Summon Scroll. All right, so we're gonna keep on running on the path, and I think this, oh wait, no, is this, what is this? Okay, maybe that's not it. Um, let's cut across here so that we don't waste time. Maybe, oh, the town is down here, right? Because the ships, there's a harbor. Yeah, here it is. Here's the city I was talking about. Um, or town, village, whatever. Here it is. This place is pretty cool. But first, before we do that, let us do the boss thing that it wants us to do. What the heck? So you can get boats and stuff in this game, too. And, uh, like, underwater creatures or something? I forgot, but there's a lot of transport, lots of horses, lots of cool stuff. Um, I will be able to... Um, show you guys the the horse because I have a horse in the game. And at least when I when I purchased the game, it came with all like a level one horse or something like that. So we'll be able to do that. But this guy is, I think, fighting the boss that I'm about to fight. So um, let me. Yeah, here we go. Uh, right click the item. Oh yeah, control on the keyboard. So we summon. There we go. Oh, whoa. Okay. Well, thank you, Cinematic, for being in the wrong spot. Okay, here we go. So we gotta fight this giant imp demon, which gets summoned out of the black goop. Black... Okay. I'm probably supposed to do this. Okay. Anyways. Uh, so we're gonna fight him and kill him. Um... Yeah, get that cool battle music going. Ow. Um, so, 
What was I saying? Anyways, we don't know what his health's gonna be, so we're just gonna have to keep on slamming. Um, ouch. Ouch. Alright. Bam, bam. Ow. So let's do our forward roll, backwards attack. What? Backwards. Backwards attack? Isn't there a. Okay, never mind. There we go. He dead. And then he gets sucked back into the black abyss. So is our black our black spirit has to have something to do with this. We were able to summon this guy out of nothingness, and then we were able to fight a thing. I think I think he's doing it just to become more and more powerful. I think he's using us. I think he's using us. Anyways, here we go. Little black spirit. Complete quest. Um Velia's Rookies Haven. Alright. Cool. Accept. Quest. Defeated Red Nose. So that was the guy we just fought. So we did something there. In progress, in progress. Okay. Um, so yeah, and then we'll run into town. I will show you guys just a little bit of what the town looks like. And that will be it, because this is basically where I am with my other character. Um, if you guys do want to see this character continue, let me know. Or if you want to see any of the ones I showed you up until now, uh, let me know that as well. But, I don't know. I think this is a pretty cool character. But... I mean, the other ones are pretty cool as well, so um, let's just check on the alchemist because he's right here. Nope, wrong person. You have a vast world before you, just waiting to be explored. You have been to the ancient chamber. Too bad if you're only here sooner. If this is your fate, there's really nothing I can do. See me off so he senses the uh, the dark spirit on us. Um, you don't I remember uh, that from, from when I got here last time. He senses the dark spirit on us, which is... Uh, uh, I good? Bad? I don't know. Anyways. Um, and then up here, um, this is, by the way, th there's like little homes that you can buy, you can purchase in the game, and um, um, oh yeah, this is the residence of my other character. I didn't know they all shared a, okay, I guess they all share a residence in this game, which is kind of cool. So that's one of my homes. I also have a couple little places uh, of storage and stuff in the game, which I really don't know too much about what they do other than the, it has to do with trade in the game and making items and trading them and all that stuff. I don't know. I still haven't even, I haven't even scratched the surface. So here we go. Um, Eileen's request. She's going to give us a few quests or something like that. So uh, one's in progress that we continue can continue this one along the lines. And that's about it. That's probably it for the episode. Um, uh, here is, like I was saying, these are just little areas where you can click on... Oops, uh, wrong thing. You can click here, and you can go into town, and you can purchase little sections. I have a uh, store... Oh, no, not storage here. I ended up selling those. But I have a residence here. I have a couple sleeping chambers for... I, you can hire workers, I guess, to work in like your blacksmiths and stuff. But I haven't even done anything, so you have to feed those blacksmiths materials in order to do it. But I have a little blacksmith, or tool workshop, sorry. A tool workshop down here, and then a storage place above it. So I don't know exactly how to use, do these yet or whatever. If you guys are playing Black Desert Online and you could help me out, that would be awesome. But I'm enjoying the game. So far, I'm actually having a blast, so... Um, yeah, if you want to see more, let me know. Uh, thumbs up, and uh, would be awesome. B seeing likes on this on these types of videos determines whether or not you know which games I focus on. Um, if I play, for instance, this MMO and another MMO, and one has a stronger following, I'm gonna end up playing that game. So, um, so the thumbs up are important. It helps me decide uh, which games to continue playing and which ones to maybe postpone for a while. But. Anyways, that's going to be it for me. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks for hanging out. I really do appreciate it, especially in a new series like this. And uh, let me know what you think. Until next time. Blow!